When you do a wireless installation, first of all, you don't need wires. So the, the installation is very easy. The opportunities is basically your costs involved, your capex and your opex on a plant. And then also, you know, for especially on remote plants where you don't need to have uh, wires connected to that plant very long distances, which is also cost effective. The main functions of this system is to get you information on real-time information uh, on a daily uh, basis. So uh, the the whole thing about wireless is get yourself uh, very very real-time information, lock, locking off systems, and get the information that you need from a plant. Also on a diagnostic point of view, if you've got an instrument in the plant, especially in inaccessible areas, there's a whole lot of problems when you don't get the instrument to work. So the information that you want from the instrument is your daily plant instrument, uh, information as well as your diagnostics from the instrumentation. Yokogawa started off by developing the wireless heart as well as ISO 100, so to compare the two different uh, devices with each other. And uh, when they did that and did all the research on that, they decided on that that there's more strings in the ISO 100 wireless network than on the wireless heart because of the interoperability. Uh, you get more advances because you can talk to a lot of different communication networks. You can talk to FART, you can talk to Foundation Field Bus, you can talk to Profibus, Modbus, TCP IP and so forth. So while wireless art can only give you heart communication and that limits us. Also there was a difference between the, uh, the transmission lengths or distances. Wireless art can only go up to 200 meters, while the ISO 100 can go much, much different, uh, much longer ranges, up to 600 meters.